The Ahsoka trailer has introduced us to a lot of new and interesting characters and locations, but a more subtle nod was that of the quick shot of a mysterious starfighter few will recognize as an E7 E-Wing. I personally didn't know much about this starfighter beforehand and took a deep dive into the details. So let's discuss and break down this awesome starfighter. Many will look at the starfighter and see the similarities between it and the X-Wing, for good reason. The E-Wing design was intended to match or even exceed the performance of the X-Wing in just about all aspects. This was in large part due to the aging X-Wing and the need for an advanced starfighter capable of defending the New Republic. The E-7 E-Wing was created by Freetech Incorporated. Its crew consisted of a single pilot and the new R-7 series astromech. But rather than being exposed, the astromech was enclosed behind the cockpit. Later E-Wing models would allow for the use of older R-2 and R-5 astromechs. The armament of this starfighter included three heavy Timenbach IX-9 medium laser cannons and two proton torpedo launchers capable of holding up to 16 proton torpedoes. As mentioned before, this starfighter was meant to be faster than that of the X-Wing. In fact, the E-Wing could even match the notoriously fast A-Wing. It busted out a top speed of 120 megalites an hour and 1300 kilometers an hour in atmosphere. Its hull featured heavy plating and advanced deflector shields to increase its overall defenses. The space frame of the E-Wing was surrounded by two aerodynamic foils, which provided greater stability and improved the weapon system's abilities. This starfighter was an excellent combination of firepower, maneuverability, speed, and armor. However, the initial batch of starfighters featured a number of issues when deployed to the frontline squadrons. Two of the most glaring problems involved its wing-mounted laser cannons. During increased acceleration, the synthetic tabana used by the laser cannons degraded, rendering the weapon useless and cutting off power to the third laser cannon. The second issue involved the new R7 Astromex. Many pilots would continue to use the more reliable X-Wing Starfighter. Engineers would resolve the defects of the E-Wing with a redesigned laser cannon system. It would reintroduce the E-Wing as the Type B. After the E-Wing was dialed in, it became the New Republic's premier Starfighter. It was used throughout Grand Admiral Thrawn's campaign, during the fight against the resurrected Palpatine, as well as during the invasion of the Yuuzhan Vong. With multiple series of the E-Wing developed, the final Series 4 E-Wing would be in service amongst the more elite squadrons, while the XJ X-Wing would make up the bulk of the squadrons. This model of E-Wing would remain throughout the transition of the New Republic to the Galactic Alliance, and even during the Second Galactic Civil War. Personally, I had never really heard of this starfighter until I heard about it in one of Eckhart Ladder's videos. I gotta say, I think it's awesome, and it definitely seems like it can hold its own. I'm curious to see how it does in the Ahsoka series. I will say I'm still a diehard X-Wing fanboy, because I personally believe that to be one of the best looking and most well-rounded starfighters, but I am still really looking forward to seeing the E-Wing in action. Let me know all your thoughts on the E-Wing. Did I miss anything? Do you think it puts the X-Wing to shame, or is it going to get blown up before we can fall in love? Make sure to subscribe if you have not done so, and smash a like on your way out. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.